The evil committed by Hamas in Israel has chilled every Australian heart. We have all been profoundly shocked by the scale and wantonness of these attacks. We must face what has happened and what is now unfolding with complete moral clarity. Hamas terrorists committed mass murder on a horrific scale. Jewish families here and across the world are mourning the greatest loss of Jewish life in a single day since the Holocaust. This was no act of war against the army of an enemy. It was the slaughter of innocent people. It was an act of terror, calculated, pitiless brutality, compounded by a rain of rockets designed to kill and to terrify without mercy and without discrimination. This was not just an attack on Israel. This was an attack on Jewish people. Let us be clear. Hamas is an enemy, but not just of Israel. Hamas is an enemy of all peace-loving Palestinian people who are left to pay a devastating price for this terrorism. Hamas honours no faith. It serves no cause but terror. It is no better than any other group in history that has clung to the twisted belief that victory can be built on the blood of the innocent. Just as Hamas stands in the way of the peaceful future for Israelis and Palestinians alike, they try to drive division in every peace-loving democratic society, and they seek to fan the embers of anti-Semitism. We cannot allow that. We will not allow that. I know I speak for every member of this House when I say that this kind of hateful prejudice has no place in Australia. Anyone seeking to exploit a people's suffering for political purposes should consider the damage they risk doing. Anyone tempted by the lazy but corrosive option of false equivalence should shun that temptation. This is a time for compassion, not cynicism. We have no room for anti-Semitism in this nation just as we have no room for Islamophobia. We have no room for hatred, not against Jews, not against Muslims. Our nation has been made better by generations of both. 